Hey guys, I want to welcome you and me back to the Sensu Pop channel. I know, I know I've been away for quite some time, but as you can see, a lot and a lot of things have changed. I've been moving things around the apartment just to freshen things up a little bit. The background has changed, the lighting has changed, my hair has changed, but I can guarantee you there's one thing that's gonna always remain the same in this channel, and that is this awesome mic. I love this a lot. Dragon Ball Super Card Game Z21 has been out for quite some time now and I've been busy playing around, tinkling around with some decks and today I really want to show you one of the decks that took me pleasantly by surprise because I was surprised by how well it played, how fun it played. It is going to be Garlic Jr. the Immortal Being. There are decks that they are fun and there are decks with very interesting mechanics but this deck itself kind of encompasses both of them to make it a fun deck with very interesting mechanics which kind of works and in the end has the ability to steal some games. I, I really felt it when I'm playtesting it, making some changes to it. I hope I got you excited because we're going straight to the mechanics breakdown and the deck profile explanation of BT21 Garlic Jr. Immortal Being and eventually I hope I get you to at least give this deck a go. Alright, so see you guys in the next slide. One of the ways to understand how a deck works is to understand the leader and this leader itself, it's a wish leader. The mechanics and what you want to do, your strategy, your game plan, it's pretty straightforward. On the front side, you want to collect Dragon Ball and how you're going to do it is that because you are the Lord and you are the boss, you are not going to be doing it yourself. You switch this card to rest mode, which is good because if you're starting first, you can activate mate and already start collecting your Dragon Ball. And how you do that, like I mentioned, you are the boss, you are not going to be doing it, your henchmen are going to be doing it. So you switch this card to rest mode and then you go to a deck and you play a Jinja, Sanyo or Niki, one of your henchmen and they are going to be starting to collect Dragon Balls from your deck and from your life for you. Once you achieve that, you want to awaken as soon as possible and once you get that 7 Dragon Ball, this is when we go to the backside. The backside, it's also really, really simple. Now. You're, after your henchman has done the job, you are going to come in and you want to wish indestructible onto your garlic junior battle card. So basically that's it, that's it, that's it, that's how clean this whole deck is and if you can do that, this deck is going to work really really well for you. And the way that you are going to be wishing for indestructible for one of your Galax Jr. battle card is through this red desire card. Galax Jr. ambition, this card is very easy to understand because once you activate this, you choose one of your Galax Jr. battle card and it gains indestructible to the end of your opponent's turn. So there is a time limit to it, but trust me, play testing it, it is good enough. I really like this card a lot. And the most efficient way to play this card is through the wish mechanics of your leader once per turn choose it and then activate it because the way that you do this you don't have to pay for the energy cost and you draw two cards um, if you do it that way so that's the most efficient way to do that what is a set and a deck in a Zenkai block without its Zenkai cards? This leader does not have a Zenkai leader, however it does have really really good Zenkai battle cards. So here they are, it is going to be Garlic Jr. Child of Evil, Destruction and Revenge and Absorbing All. You are going to be playing them turn 2, turn 3 and turn 4. Okay, so that's kind of like a um, like an energy limitation to all of them. So Garlic Jr. Child of Evil just need one Z energy and guess what? Your leader is going to be playing all your henchmen in active mode and so you can actually use them to combo and charge it to Z energy. You, when your opponent's leader swing, you use it to combo, don't take damage, charge it and then now you can uh, summon your Garlic Jr. Child of Evil on turn 2. Child of Evil has barrier and deflag. Uh, destruction and Revenge does not have barrier, however this is when you want to wish indestructible for him, which is really good because once he gets indestructible he becomes a 25k. So literally this is what happens, right? once you get indestructible your Garlic Jr. all gets bigger. And Garlic Jr. absorbing all this is the boss monster because once it gets indestructible, so you use your leader, wish with the ambition card, draw two, give him indestructible and this card becomes a 35k double strike 
critical when he swings he choose one of your opponent's battle card ignoring barrier and minus 30k power for the turn and it is indestructible so unless your opponent is playing yellow it is very difficult to remove right for red itself 30 35k it's difficult and until the end of the opponent's turn he is going to be that 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 powerful so one of the mechanics that you can do also is because the swing it's not once per turn so multiple swing of this card does actually work so could you imagine 35k 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 and how you're going to do that is if you do have the budget invest in the shenrong scr and uh give it triple strike and extra 10k so this guy becomes a 45k double strike critical and every time he swings you choose one of your opponent's battle card and minus 30k ignoring barrier that's really good i really like the combo when it uh, comes online this deck does have a boss monster but unfortunately i think it is situational and not very good but if i'm wrong please let me know uh, let us take a look at the text over here for two energy you are can play this card it is a, it is a 30k dual attacker and when this card is being played from your hand you choose all battle cards including yours and they get minus 15k for the turn that means they can't really swing and if a lot of your battle cards are actually 15k uh, before it gains indestructible so uh, they are going to be going to the drop area as well however the permanent is where this card gets very interesting when this card gains indestructible it stays at 30k however and there is a permanent during until the end of your opponent's turn all of your opponent's barrel card and units of card get a minus 10 so it does not affect you it affects your opponent so that's pretty pretty crazy if you think about that because when this card goes on live unless your opponent has something 25k and above your opponent cannot attack you unless they commit cards in their hands just to combo all right and uh, at the end of your opponent's turn this card is removed from the game so you can't really use it for anything else even a for for overrealm you you really can't use this card however this is the deck it's uh, this is the card itself situational three off in my deck one of the reasons that make this deck so enjoyable to pilot is how well the whole thing just flows. It is very important for you to get the Red Desire card into your hand when you awaken and this deck makes sure you have that in your hand and they does it so easily. Uh, when you awaken, you will go to your deck and fetch one into your hand. Now you have a plus one, right? You already have it. And if you want more, you have a, a Galax Junior Dark Ambition card that you can play for one cost you go to your deck and find one not to take a look at top three top five top seven top ten no go to your deck take that card and put it into your hand really really good and the final card is this galax jr internal life one of the thing is that when you use it it's a you know you can only use it up to four times but this deck makes sure that you can recycle them and the way that you recycle them it's using this card this card is really good because for one energy you get a 20k beta then you go to your deck and play a 15k for, with the skills negated for the entirety of the game. That's kind of really harsh, but okay, it's still a 15k beta. A 15k beta is still a 15k beta, alright? And then you uh, put one card back into your deck and you go to your drop, take one and put it into your hand. That red desire card, uh, Galax Jr. Ambition, and put it into your hand. So you can uh, fetch them from the deck easy when you awaken or you play an extra card uh play a galax junior card fetch them really easy or you recycle it from your deck this deck make sure that you have it and again i want to say it for one cost 20k beta 15k beta and then uh you get the uh M the, the, the the extra card into your head really good i like it we have been talking about the henchman the henchman the henchman fetching all this dragon ball for you while you sit back but once you get all this dragon ball you become very very powerful and that is when garlic jr tries to uh, punch back right however the henchman after collecting dragon ball they are just not going to sit in one corner and just uh, watch you do the work they are your henchmen you most probably i hope you pay them salaries because if you don't do that that's that's like slavery 
Uh, so they are going to be fighting back. They do have their four course form that can do that. So you have Jinja, Niki and Sanyo. So uh, Jinja and Niki want you their 15k beta that comes up for the cost of one. But once your Galaxy Junior gains uh, like indestructible, they do get a moral boost and every one of them. Uh, for example, Jinja gets a plus 5k double strike and Niki becomes uh, 20k critical. So they do get a boost itself. That's really good. And uh, they become a little bit deadlier if your uh, Galax Jr. has indestructible. Sanyo itself, it's a 15k beta, vanilla beta somehow. However, if you have an indestructible Galax Jr. on the board, which you certainly will have, why not? He becomes a free negate every single turn so this is definitely a fourth in my deck because i i kind of like it a lot right so um just to make sure that for once per turn you're able to put a 15k on the board uh just for free and negate one attack without paying any energy this is incredible in my opinion incredible value all right and take note not uh not a single one of them has the keyword unique that means you can spam the board with them Hey guys, so this is the deck profile itself. I know this is very difficult to see, so uh, the whole entire deck list is down in the description below. But do tell me, how do you find the deck? Are you playing around with it? And if you have some text that you want to share, put it down in the comment section, not just for me, but for the rest of the people who are visiting this page, watching this video, and uh, taking a look at, uh, they can see what are the opinions of other people who have played this deck, who have tinkered around, and who knows uh, what they want to do. And if you want me to cover a deck that uh, for the next video, please write it down in the comment section. Take note, I will take some time because I want to take the deck, buy the cards and play around with it. So uh, I have a few of it before showing a deck profile. So if you like this video, I appreciate it. You can give this video a like, subscribe if you want to support me and the channel. A big thank you to those people who sent me messages asking me when is the next video coming out? When uh, am I still going to continue making videos that they enjoy my videos when I was taking a break? Um, yeah, it, it really feels really, really nice. All right. Um, stay safe, stay healthy. Enjoy playing the Dragon Ball Supercar game. I certainly hope all of you are okay. I am okay. See you guys in the next video, alright? Ciao, bye.